What's up guys? Welcome back to Build Cool again. Today we're gonna do something a little bit different. So I've been working on our 1986 Honda Helix here and there off camera and I was questioning whether or not to go ahead and put out more episodes on this thing but I just couldn't really figure out what to do an episode on. Everything's just really quick and easy, like I put a new windshield on there, which is four bolts, real quick, throw that on there. I'm obviously not going to make a whole episode over four bolts. So I went ahead, I did the seat cover as well, and that was maybe an hour or so, and I just really didn't see the point of stretching that out for an episode either. So I was kind of questioning what to do next. And then I thought to myself, I said I was going to work on those body panels and try to repair those. So I've been playing around with them off camera. I royally messed up when I started, but I'm starting to figure out what to really do with this. And I think it'd be good to just kind of go through, make a little tutorial and show you guys how I would go about fixing some body panels using a little plastic welder. I'm just using the cheapest one off eBay. It was like $12 for the whole kit. Came with the thing, an extra tip, a bunch of little plastic rods to melt into it. I figured it was going to be really easy. It's really not that complicated, but it did take some figuring out to get the best results. So I'm going to go ahead and flip you guys around. I'll show you guys what we're working on, what I've already done, what I learned, what kind of things I'm using, and then we'll go ahead, get you set up, and we'll work on finishing what I've already started. But before we get started, let's go ahead and smash that like and subscribe button so we can keep on building cool It really helps when you guys go ahead and subscribe and you hit that like button. That way, other people we get recommended to other people and it really helps this channel grow and I can't thank you guys enough for helping me with this so with all that being said I'll get you guys flipped around and let's get started alright guys so what we got here are the rear panels to the Honda Helix plus one of the side panels that's on like the lower section of it so as you can see here, I've already gone through, melted a bunch of plastic in, sanded it up, and it's really on there pretty well. I'm not too concerned about it coming off, but on the other side, you can see how I started this whole project. So I thought that just using the hot tip and melting plastic into plastic would give me a real good bond. But that really was not the case. So here, let me show you guys. It's already started to peel up. It just comes right back off. You can see where the cracks were and the damage. It's still all glued right down here and watch. Comes right off like nothing. So what I figured out is you really need to go through. It comes with this little wire brush and it says in the instructions to just use the wire brush and go through and brush it up and then you're good to go. But that is definitely not the case. So what I found is I'm using some, I want to say it's like 80 grit, maybe 100 or 120 on just a little sanding block sort of deal. And I'm going through and I'm sanding it out first after I peel it off. Like on this panel, I haven't. All I did was try the melt-in technique. Here I actually started to figure out that I needed to sand it all out. So like here, I can easily, let's see. Of course, this one's going to be on a little bit better. But see, it just peels right off. So I'm going to go through... I'm going to have to sand all of this and then I'll go through, melt some in, and I found that 
build up a little layer, sand it down, and just get it the best you can. It's not going to be perfect with the plastic welder. You, in reality, you're trying to smear it. You've got this little triangle tip. Like, that's all it, that's all it is. It's pretty much just a tip on a soldering iron. And so you're going through, you're trying to smear this out. It's not as big as what you're trying to fill. So then it pushes out. So like on this guy, it's pretty close. You can see there's some low spots here. So what I'm going to do is just take some little Bondo and I'll put a light skim coat on it just to fill in what I need to. Give it a finish sand and this thing should be good to paint. I still need to go through, fix these cracks and that, but that's the plan. Just try to get it good enough to be able to put a light layer of Bondo on it and then be able to paint it. Now like in here, I'm trying to fill these holes where the bolts would go because it just, it's all broken in there. So I figured if I just really melt it in, I can drill new holes. Unfortunately, the plastic's now melted from both sides and it's peeling off. So I'm going to have to kind of like melt it back or peel it back, do some sanding, get it all melted back in there. We'll get creative. But I'll go ahead, get you guys set up, and I'll show you guys what I'm talking about to go through and do these things. So with all that being said, let's get started.
guys. So I went through, I showed you guys what to do, and I'm just at that point where it just keeps on going on and on. You just kind of have to keep sanding it down, smoothing it out, and trying to figure out where you want it and where's going to be that best spot for you to be able to just lay a thin layer of Bondo and then be able to paint those things. So instead of boring you guys and keep going on and on, I figured I'd call it a wrap for this episode. And then once I get this all taken care of in the next episode, I'll go through, show you guys Bondoing these things all up. And then we'll go ahead and get all these lower panels painted on this thing. But before we get out of here, let's go ahead and smash that like and subscribe button so we can keep on building. And with all that being said, I'll catch you guys on the next episode. Peace!